Today we take a look at a Backman Class 221 Super Voyager with tilt mechanism. Roll the intros. <laughs> Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Channels of Junction, I'm Peter. Today we are going to be taking a look at a Backman Class 221 Super Voyager with tilt mechanism. Now this item I have not purchased, it has been given to me by one of my neighbours along with a load of other uh, railway piece, bits and pieces which will come in another video. But today we're going to be looking at the Backman Class 221 Super Voyager Without further ado, let's get down to baseball level and let's have a look, shall we? So, this is the first video that I will be doing from my new workbench. And I don't know if anybody have actually watched my last video uh, concerning this. I've now created a workbench control panel area for the new ECOS ESU system. The control panel for all my points and uh, signals are here as well, so I've got proper access to there. But without further ado, let's have a look at this bad boy. Now, like I said, I've got a neighbour whose father collected a load of railway um, items over the years. Who passed away, sadly, six years ago. And they found out that I was inter interested in trains in a big way. So they decided to give me this and also that little lot over there. But that's going to be another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Backman, as it says, Super Voyager 5 card DMU, class 221, with unique tilt action. Now, when they brought this in to me this morning, this still had the original plastic uh, sleeve all, wrap, all wrapped around it, which I have taken off, and I have had a look at the uh, models to make sure that everything was a okay. This was absolutely, when they gave it to me, as brand new. So... That's you see the front, the sides, gives you a history of the class. Um, if you don't, if you can't really read that, guys, then all you've got to do is go onto Google and you can put up the history on the class 221. Now, obviously, the class 221 has been around for about 20 years now. And on the one side, you've got the usual Batman branch line. On this side, just class 221 Super Voyager with the Batman logo, Virgin Trains logo and Bombardier transportation logo on the end the product code is 32-625 class 221 virgin super voyager tilting five car units so without further ado let's get the box open guys and let's get it out now as it says it is a five car unit and as you are about to see it comes in the six boxes. So without further ado, let's get the boxes out of the main box. And we'll start taking a look at them individually. We'll just quickly get them out, guys. Pop them on the sides. Obviously, that one there is just a dummy box. Obviously, because obviously it's three boxes at the top and only two for the bottom. So they've obviously put in the... Um, dummy box in there to obviously make it easier for packaging. Just get the paperwork out for it. Make sure everything's out. So we can now pop that to the side. So paperwork wise, what do we get? You get a exploded diagram of all the parts for the main motor coach, which will be the middle coach in this. So it's just the one sided. Then obviously you get a piece of paper that tells you how to put the Voyager together. So you've got Trader 1, 2, 3A, which is obviously the motor coach, T3B and T4, which is the club class. So that's handy to know so you can get them in the right formation. Obviously, you get the Backman Guarantee Guide. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill this out and send this off because obviously it's not a new release model. So obviously it could be quite out of date, but you never know. I might phone up Backman after COVID and find out if I can. And obviously you've got a bit there for the Batman Collectors Club. So that's the paperwork 
<coughs> done it out of the way. So first of all, let's go straight in for one of the most coaches. Like I said guys, I have taken these out, got rid of the wrappers that would normally encase this. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box. And as we expect, pristine condition. Perfect Virgin logo there. The, what I would call uh, wasp stripes there on the doors, which are the uh, gray and black. Now, personally to me, I've actually been on the uh, Pendolinos of Virgin Voyages, and I think those gray stripes were more predominantly darker or possibly black. So I think Batman may have got that a little bit wrong, but we're not going to fault him on it. It is a model that's been out for about 18 years, and it is time for a retool. Round the side, or sorry, round the front, round the back, you can clearly see all the warning labels in there, obviously where the electrical cables would be to connect the two, the cars together, and you can see clearly the coupling piece there, and it's very, very well, nice and free. Again, this is the other second side, exactly the same as the other side, but obviously in reverse, and the front end, so that's the main car. Then obviously you get the next one. I'll get these out very quickly, guys. Get them done and out of the way because obviously it's going to be a little bit repetitive. <coughs> Just pop it out of the box. This side's got a bit stuck. There we go. As you guys know, I don't do any editing on my videos. So again, like I said, door colours could have been the same. Nicely detailed, all the glazes in place, nice warning labels, all the warning labels are in the right place. The roof detail is picked out very nicely. Obviously, it wouldn't stay this clean in the real world, so that could be uh, a weathering job down the line if I decide to weather the locos or the carriages. But again, lovely detail. The wheels are nice and free and in place, and obviously... Yeah, suppose it's supposed to have a tilt mechanism and I can feel a resistance when I do that so obviously it obviously does so that's one of the standard cars again this one is just again exactly the same coach so we'll just get it out of the box and pop it to the sides again exactly the same this one is Roof details exactly the same, everything's all the same. But this one has obviously got the name, and this one is called Michael Palin. And if you want to want if you want to know the uh, number of the unit, I don't know if my camera's gonna focus, it's not, so it is two two one one three zero. And as I said, this one is Michael Palin. So obviously there's your three coaches. And obviously, again, there's the second of the end cars. So again, we'll just quickly whip this one out. And obviously, that would go the other side. But the main one that we're in, that's the most important is the motor coach, the middle one. Now, yes, this is a DC only uh, locomotive at the moment. As you can see in my little handy tray there, I have got a eight pin um, Hornby four function decoder. So I will be um, hardwiring the motor drive. I will eventually do the uh, two cabs for the lights, but just uh, to get this up and running, I will only be doing the motor coach, but I won't be doing that on film guys. I will do that off camera because it's something that I've never done before and I don't want to make any mistakes whilst filming. Um, one, that would be completely embarrassing for me and two, I don't want to blow the motor up in a perfectly good brand spanking new working Voyager unit. So that one I will be doing off camera. Once it's done, obviously you will see it running on the layout. And once I've got the motor cars, um, uh, chipped up as well for the lighting then obviously that again will be a revisit so the motor coach 
Obviously, it's going to be very, very heavy. It has got the motor directly in the middle, and it's driven by two flywheels either side, which you have uh, shafts that run down to gearboxes on this end and on this end. So it is all wheel, pick, uh, wheel drive in this unit. The unit is extremely heavy, so that's got quite a bit of weight in it already. Um, obviously, I'm only going to be adding a couple of grams uh, with the decoder, but obviously... There is a lot, a lot of weight in that unit. Um, like I said, the detail is super, super detailed. And you cannot grumble for, you know, a present. I was absolutely astonished when uh, my neighbours knocked on the door today and presented me with this. I was only saying to my wife yesterday, I would love to get my hands on a, a Backman Virgin Voyager. And now I've got one. So like I said, guys, this unit will be um, DCC chipped and hopefully within the next couple of days, we'll be running around on the layout. But before I connect all the other power cars to it, I will run the motor coach on its own just to bed it in and get it working up and running. Also, within the motor coach pack, you get the four pack of four drawbars that connect these units together. Now... I will be uh, collecting, sorry, collecting, buying another pack of these, uh, hopefully off of eBay. As you know what could happen, you drop one of these, you could lose it somewhere, anywhere in your room. Um, especially, you know, when you're walking around. So I will be getting a spare pack of these. So that is my Backman Class 221 Super Voyager with Tilt Mechanism. So there you have it guys, a class 221 Backman Voyager given to me for, well, just being a caring neighbour. Absolute shock when the uh, two sisters brought it round to me today. So if you are watching Julianne and Zara, a massive, massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to you. Um, this will be one of my pride uh, units on my layouts and... Hopefully I will get it up and running in the next day or two. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the video. I've had a fun making this. And what I want you all to remember is I didn't pay for this item. It was given to me. And it was bought by a gentleman that has passed away. And his legacy was that he wanted his stock to go to someone that would look after it and would use it. And I promise to my uh, to my neighbours that I will live up to their late dad's legacy. So please remember, guys, this is not a freebie. It wasn't a you know oh have this to do a video on. It's been given to me as a present, as a thank you for helping them do bits and pieces. So please remember that, guys, in this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that like button, and if you've got any questions or comments about the class 221 if you've got any tips on how to uh convert them or hardwire them to dcc i know how to do the motor coach uh thanks to richard watson richard watson at new junction he has done a brilliant brilliant little video on there so richard if you are watching thank you for your video that you've done quite a, quite a long time ago on your old new junction uh i will be following that on the actual install of the motor coach but if anybody's got any tips and hints for me on how to do the DCC uh, hardwiring for the cabs, please drop me a comment down below. Um, if you're a member of my, if you, I am on Facebook, and if you are a friend of mine, again, just PM me on Facebook and let me know on how to get the cab units wired up for um, like to get the lights working. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're a subscriber, great big thumbs up. Thank you very much for keep joining me on my travels on taking this model railway to the next level. Obviously, we are going, uh, taking big steps on this railway at the moment uh, and taking it from one step to another. Um, got a parcel coming to me in the post, which will be another video coming hopefully at the end of this week. Um, so I hope you guys will join me in watching that one and I hope you enjoy that one. So again, if you're a subscriber, great big thumbs up and thank you for the new subscribers that have come on recently. Hope you're enjoying the content 
and I hope you enjoy future content. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and follow me as we take this massive model railway to, like I said, the next level and get it senior nicked. Um, until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Look after each other, look after your loved ones and protect our NHS because we need our NHS more than ever at the moment. If you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, guys, take care, happy modelling, and bye-bye from Chelmsford Junction.